ultrasound which is the gender ultrasound is on August 3rd and I will most likely have the party August 4th and I'll make sure to film it so I can make a video of it and I can't wait I've been researching so much ideas on little desserts and little snacks to have and how to decorate everything and I'm super super excited I can't imagine how I'm gonna be for the baby shower but I'm really excited for this and we have already started designing the cake because we're gonna do it with a cake I know usually gender reveal parties are either a box with balloons and you open the box and either pink balloons or blue balloons or the cake and you cut piece of the cake and the inside is either pink or blue depending on the sex of the baby so we're doing the cake and we're already started designing it and putting ideas together and I'm very excited about that I also got fluff mail today which are cloth diapers I didn't get the whole order which is weird because I've ordered from Alba Babies probably three times before maybe three times before so this is my fourth order and they've always come in the same package so I sent them an email today asking is it wrong are you have you not shipped the second half so I bought four diapers I had mentioned in my last um uh, sorry my hair was stuck in my last blog that I was buying all of, I was going on the website and trying to buy all of the ones that are colored snaps because they're always sold out and so every time I see them I get them and it's always one color so I'd get one color and then other diapers and then the next week it's another color so this week they had three colors available which was green red and black so this is the green one the colored snaps which I showed in the last video and as you can see here they have the double gusset so one and two which would make it <clears throat> prevent leaks even more than a regular cloth diaper and that's it so this is what it looks like so I got the green one and I got a red one so this is the red one Closed. the red diaper so I only got these two in the mail the ones I'm missing are the black I got I ordered two black and I'll see what they reply in the email but so far no black hopefully I get it maybe Monday I called them and it was probably midnight over there and they mentioned that sometimes if they don't have maybe two blacks available they'll just send what they have and then send the other ones later so I have two more so my our little pile is building up but I was so excited when I got them I was like yes when I order these, they take so long that I just kind of try to forget about them. So I would be excited and they deliver it at work. So I was working and somebody came and they're like, delivery. I was like, yay. I love getting cloth diapers and I love getting deliveries. So it was very exciting. What else is an update? I'm kind of getting nervous about breastfeeding. I've always known I was gonna breastfeed and and I just started realizing that I'm there might be a possibility where maybe I can't breastfeed I don't know what these two are doing okay you want to play go over, play over there okay um, so I've always thought I'm just gonna build breastfeed I was already thinking how long do I want to breastfeed the longer the better in my opinion I know some, it's con very controversial. Actually, Times, I don't know if you've seen it, but the magazine, they came out with a cover where there was like a young mom on the cover and she was breastfeeding like a three or four year old kid and everybody was talking about it. But I just think the nutrients you get from breast milk is definitely something you're not gonna get anywhere else. And even though formulas try to duplicate that and it's never the same. So I really, really, really want to breastfeed and I don't know, I guess now it hit me. Maybe I can't breastfeed. And I'm just so nervous about that because I really want to breastfeed. Sorry. 
so I'm nervous I don't know what's the percentage I don't know I need to research what the percentage of women that can breastfeed and versus women that cannot breastfeed if it's you know 90 and 10 percent then maybe I'll relax a little bit but if it's like 50 50 I'm gonna freak out because I don't know it's just nerve-wracking I when you really want to do something and then you can and I don't know. And my husband's very for breastfeeding. He was actually breastfed to a very late age and he says that that's why he's so tall and so smart and he loves breastfeeding. So he really wants me to breastfeed as well. And it's just a little nervous. I don't know. I, I'm going to try not to think about it because you really need to think about those things once you get there and you can't then you think about the alternative. I mean, the alternative would just be formula and you really have no other choice, but I really want to breastfeed. <laughs> and then the next thing I've been kind of scared about is, you know, am I going to have a natural delivery or I'm going to have to have a C-section or I don't know. And I don't really know when you start thinking about those things. I guess you need to start thinking about a plan, but I just don't know what I would want or I don't know. And then the next thing, what's the other thing? This is why I have to write things down, because I just forget. Mm. I forgot. But that's about it. There's Oh, the baby shot. Belly shot. So, today I told one person at work. and Because it just slipped. We were talking about rings. and Because she's, she's getting engaged. And that her boyfriend had taken her to a jewelry store and picked helped her pick out a ring and I was showing her my ring because she's like that's the kind of ring I, I I like like the I don't know what it's called but this is what she wanted so she was looking at my ring and I just slipped and I just said I said yeah my my husband told me that it's funny because we I probably mentioned this in the past also but we had picked out a, da uh, a name for a boy and a girl name as well so we had both settled we both liked both everything was settled but then when i actually got pregnant this is prior to getting pregnant when i finally got pregnant he's like and and i felt like it was a boy and the whole first two months everybody's like boy 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 my family his family everybody's like how's the baby boy everybody was just asking for the boy it was just settled it was a boy and he got his hopes up and he said no he, he, he needs to be named jamie as well jamie jr you know he he even came up with a logo and everything, and I really don't like that. I don't like the dad being the name, and the worst thing is that his dad's the same. So this would be the third Jamie, and um, I really don't like it. But he told me, he's like, okay, if we name the baby Jamie, I, I'm going to upgrade your ring. And I was like, that's terrible. And then, and then he really didn't like the idea of the gender party. He said, no, I need to know as soon as we can find out. I want to know, not a minute later. So I'm trying to negotiate. Fine. He's a really good negotiator anyway. So the baby's probably going to be end up having the name Jamie if it is a boy. So I might as well get the upgrade and get the baby gender party. Oh, because I told him, okay, maybe... If you allow me to have the gender party, well, he said I can have the party regardless. He just wants to know. So even if I don't find out at the ultrasound, that he needs to find out at the ultrasound. So I told him, you need to wait as well. So it's a surprise for both of us. And maybe I'll consider you naming the baby Jamie. Or we both naming the baby Jamie. But that's if the baby's a boy, it might be a girl. So, um, that's about it. If there's anything else I've missed, I'll add it in another video and I'll show you the belly now. I don't know how I'm going to do this. But, oh, hopefully. Um, so that's about it. Oh, the point of telling you guys the whole ring story and the whole... is because I told somebody at work that, that I'm basically almost four months. I'm three months and a half. And they said, I can't believe it. You look perfectly normal. You don't look pregnant at all. So, and today I was wearing jeans and this top and you really couldn't tell. So, <clears throat> this is the belly. And then, oh, let me put my pants up. Okay. 
That's the belly. Close. Through the front, I feel like you can't really tell. But maybe it's just me. And then this is the other side. So it's a little bump. I feel like it's coming out more and more. But you really still can't. I feel like I know, I see a difference. I see, I see the little bump and I feel the difference. But if you're not really looking for it and I'm just wearing something like that. And we're at work. You're really not going to say, are you pregnant? You look pregnant. You look bigger. So... I guess at least it's that's about it. There's nothing really normal. Oh, I also forgot. Did I mention this? No, I also forgot. My last doctor's appointment, I t also told him that my legs were falling asleep, which is very weird for me. Gosh, maybe I said this in another video, but if I didn't, my legs were just falling asleep and falling asleep, and I guess that's another symptom. And I would lay down for two seconds, and the second I would lay down, my legs would just fall asleep. Which I was getting concerned about because I read up that if you're really, really big, that's, excuse me, that's normal, but not now. And so I had a venous dropper, I believe that's what they call it, which is basically an ultrasound of your lower extremities, your legs, from your groin to basically your foot. And that's just to make sure you don't have any clots or anything. I had no clots, everything was perfect, and we really don't know why my legs are falling asleep. So that's about it. That's all for this week. And from now on, I will be making a video every week. I'm also going to upload a video of our little vacation. And, and I'm really sorry that video didn't go up before our vacation. It was supposed to. And I left it uploading all night. Ugh, all night. And it never uploaded. So I don't know what happened. I think it was just too long and that's why I had to divide it into two parts. But even when I divided it into two parts, I tried to upload it and it still wasn't really working out. So I'm really sorry about that. But from now on, every week, I will be uploading a video. So see you next week. Bye.